Hello and welcome to HDPTI. I'm your host, Reese Burns, along with my co-host, Jack Dobbins and Caden Stewart. Today we're going to talk about AL East contenders. All right, Jack, who do you have? Uh, I mean, this division is super tight. You know, you got the Rays, you got the O's, you got the Sox, you got the Jays, the Yankees. I am just depressed. I'm leaving them out of this. Um, but honestly, I think the Orioles are going to win the division. I think the Rays are going to easily grab a wild card. I think the Sox are going to grab a wild card. And I honestly, eh. I'm actually not going to go there. I'll just stick with those three. I'll stick with the Orioles, stick with the Rays, stick with the Sox. All right, Caden. Uh, I agree for the most part with that. The Orioles do have a solid lead in the division now. I think the Rays can make that close. They have a four-and-a-half game or five-game buffer over the final wild card spot. So they'll definitely be in the playoffs regardless of a division win. I'm not sure the Sox get in. It'll all depend what they do at the trade deadline. But I do agree with the Orioles and uh, Rays making it. All right, let's move along to the NL. Uh, going to the NL East now, who do you have in that division? All right, so Atlanta's going to win that division really, really, really easily. So it depends on who I want to go with after that. I am going to go, I think the Phillies get there. I think they're hot enough to get there. And I think that's it. I don't think any other NL East teams get in. I mean, I think that the Marlins are going to start to fall off. I think the Mets are doing Met things. And then Nationals are totally out of this. I think it's just going to be the Braves and Phils. All right, between the Marlins and the Phillies, who do you think will have the better record at the end of the year? I think definitely the Phillies. They are a little streaky, but the Phillies, when they're hot, are really hot. They have a few games coming up against Miami. They've been doing good against Miami this year somehow. But I think the Phillies have the better opportunity. They're going to be able to take advantage of it, and it'll be Philadelphia with the either the top or final wild card seed. I don't think they're going to get the middle. All right, and uh, right now we have some breaking news. It seems like Marcus Stroman has been traded back to the Blue Jays. Jack, what are your opinions? I'm honestly stunned. That's going to make the Blue Jays able to make a playoff push, and honestly, that'll probably dethrone the Sox from that playoff spot to me. I think the Jays will take it then because Stroman was dominant on the Jays way back when, and now that he's back in arguably the best season of his career, I mean, what a great move for the Jays to make. All right, Caden, what, uh, what impact does Stroman bring to the Blue Jays? I mean, I think, to give him, I think they give him a really good, solid number three, a top three pitcher. They already had Kevin Gosman among the best in the league. I think Gosman and Stroman is a perfect dynamic duo. They definitely go over the Red Sox now for the wild card race, and Toronto makes, makes the playoffs as the last wild card. All right. Heading to commercial break now is presented by Snickers. This is WTPI. Going to break. <laughs> 